Hello everyone, I'm Francisco Melendez. With the release of Avengers Endgame around the corner, everything in our world is changing. Here in E23, it's no different, as we are coming to you with a new segment called Film Pothesis. I'll be breaking down some of the internet's headcanons re regarding Avengers Endgame and deciding how valid they are. And by valid, I mean how much I'd like to see them happen. This should be pretty obvious, but spoiler alert. Our first theory is the Avengers time travel to save the planet. In Ant-Man and the Wasp, there's a passing mention of time vortexes when Scott enters the quantum realm. This never really plays, pays off in the movie, but it seems like a weird thing to leave hanging, right? Some fans suspect this is how Scott gets to the Avengers in the movie after getting stranded in the quantum realm during Ant-Man and the Wasp mid credit scene. This seems highly plausible to me, as Scott needs to get out of, the, out of there somehow, but fans speculate it could go deeper. Some fans speculate the answer to this whole half the population is dead problem will be to will be to time travel. This does seem like a possibility, but as it stands now, it seems like a bit of a cop-out. I really hope Avengers 4 isn't all fixed just because the Avengers went back in time to fix everything. Our second theory is Captain Marvel is the key. After watching Captain Marvel, many fans immediately noted how uber-powerful Carol was. Maybe strong enough to defeat Thanos? We see her fly through ships, blast them out of the sky, and generally seems unstoppable once her powers awaken. So, could Carol come in and save the day with her new best friend Thor? I'm gonna have to say no to that for one reason. Killing Thano Thanos isn't going to fix the world. While in a vacuum it's kind of interesting to imagine a future where the living ca Avengers have to cope with the loss of the dead team members. That seems highly improbable, with Spider-Man 2, Black Panther 2, Doctor Strange 2, and Guardians 3 coming in the future, I don't think these heroes are staying dead. And personally speaking, I share a sentiment with the internet here. I don't want Carol or Thor or anyone to save the day by punching Thanos really hard. That would be satisfying but underwhel underwhelming at the same time. This is a culmination of 22 movies and it would be anticlimactic to say, to say the least. Also, does anyone really want all those dead Avengers to stay dead? I certainly don't. On, on the Captain Marvel train, could the Slurrican save the day? We see her eat the Tesseract in Captain Marvel, so is Zeus the hero we all need? No. I mean, I haven't seen the movie, but I'm gonna bet this movie won't end with Zeus eating Thanos. Come on, be serious. Let's get to the only theory that matters. Does Ant-Man go inside, inside Thanos' butt and expand into giant Ant-Man to save the day? So, could this happen? No, of course not. As Josh Brolin explained on his Instagram, Thanos would simply hashtag flunch Ant-Man. That being said, my heart does believe in Ant-Man. He would do anything to get the Pym family back. Anything. But that's enough of me talking. What do you think? Will time travel save the day? Will Carol? Will Goose? Will Ant-Man go where no other hero has gone before? Avengers Endgame breaks the internet on April 26th, so let's wait and see. Back to our pro Ant-Man plan hosts.